Okay, so I want to make a remark about the column spaces here. So now the 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 interest in column space um, and the um, column ranks stems from our study of linear systems. Okay, for example, if we look at this system here, we can look at this and we said that hey, this has a solution if and only if the vectors of d of the d's is a linear combination of the column vectors, right? So in other words, we're looking at a solution to, oops, to this, right? So the columns here is just going to be 1, 2, 0, 4, right? Plus C2 times what? 3, 3, 1, 0. Plus C3 times what? 7, 8, 2, 4. Equals D1, D2, D3, D4, right? So that's, that's where our interest in column spaces stems from. When we were studying our linear systems and we were trying to find solutions to our linear systems, we looked at the columns, right? And the linear combination of the columns. Okay, so uh, what else? Yeah, so again, this, um, this has a solution, right? The system has a solution if and only if the vectors of D's is a linear combination of the other column vectors as shown, meaning that the vectors of D's is in the column space of the matrix, or excuse me, the um, uh, matrix of coefficients. And that's, that's where we're going. All right. Time for some examples, I think.